We've done a handful of versus videos here on the channel, but few have been quite as requested as this one. It's the HP Chromebook X360, the Asus Chromebook C434, and these things share a lot of similarities between the two of them, but there are some things that make them different from one another, and they both shine in different aspects, and hopefully we wanna help you make a decision at the end of all of this and pick a winner between the two of which one would be best for your money. So a quick review on how we do versus videos around here. We break things down into five sections. So build quality, screen, input methods, keyboard, trackpad, and then ports and internals and speakers, kind of all that stuff that resides in the base is the fourth one. And then user experience. So just what it feels like to use the device on a day-to-day -day basis. At the end, when we pick a winner in each of those sections, obviously with five sections, one of them is gonna come out as a winner. And I can tell you in this one, it's really, really close between the two. So stick around to the end of the video to see that. But before we get into all those comparisons and figuring out which one of these devices is better than the other, this video is brought to you by Forma Supply Company. And if you're like me at all, you really don't like shopping that much. I just don't enjoy the overall experience of going into a store and going through shirts and all that kind of stuff. Luckily for people like you and me, there's Forma Supply Company. They will supply you with fresh t-shirts just like this one right onto your porch monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly, just depending on how you choose. You go in and choose a style and give them a little bit of info about yourself and they will get those t-shirts onto your porch. You don't have to go anywhere and you get fresh t-shirts however often you'd like them. If any of that sounds interesting to you, just go down below in the description, click the link and you can get 25% off your first supply today. All right, so let's get into it. And before we get started into any of these five categories, just know that the two models here in front of us, we'll talk about specs and all that kind of stuff as we move through it, are the same price. So $599 MSRP for both of them. Sure, they may go on sale at different times. We can't know when that's gonna happen, but right now, MSRP 599 on both of these. So at least we're kind of on a level playing field with those. So first up is build quality. And when we talk about build quality, we're talking about the quality of the hinges. We're talking about the way the thing feels in your hand, whether it picks up fingerprints, whether it's creaky, all that kind of stuff. Both of these devices are put together pretty well. The HP has a plastic bottom, but it has an aluminum top portion where the keyboard is, and the entire lid is aluminum and a glass screen. Really good hinges uh, in general. I, I, I think they're a little bit loose uh, for, for a Chromebook and for a convertible in general, but overall the design looks good. I, I enjoy the way it looks. It's a bit polarizing. Some people don't care for the two-tone finish. Uh, but I think it's put together really well and it just feels good in your hand and looks pretty premium. However, when we start looking at the Asus and the way that it is put together, before we even open the lid or look at anything else, you have to really notice how much smaller it looks. And they're both 14 inch screens here. We're gonna get into screens in a second, but this overall device just looks smaller, slimmer, sleeker. It's made of the exact same aluminum all around. The hinges look really nice, perform really nice. The whole thing just feels super premium in your hand. Like as nice as any other Chromebook I've ever held, and that's counting the Pixelbook. This thing just feels and looks like a million bucks. So it's a pretty easy one here. Build quality has to go to Asus. So moving on to screen, if you've seen either one of these devices open, you probably already know which one I'm gonna lean towards, but let's back up and talk about them for just a second. They're both 14 inch IPS panels, so they have great viewing angles, uh, decent brightness. They're not the brightest devices uh, out there. They're not as bright as the Pixelbook or the Pixel Slate, but they're, they're nice and bright. They look good from most angles. So there's little to complain about with each of these. They're 14 inch, full HD, so very, very similar. Uh, you could almost convince me maybe they were pulled from the same manufacturer, actually. I mean, they look that similar to each other. The difference here is, and you probably already know this, is that the Asus is surrounded on three sides by very, very minimal bezels. And the HP, while having respectable bezels, I don't they're not crazy or hideous or anything like that, the tiny bezels on the Asus just provide this viewing experience that I've not had on any Chrome OS device up to this point. There are some Windows devices out there with really tiny bezels, but we've not had a Chromebook until the Asus uh, C434 came along that had this kind of viewing experience. And so, because most things are the same between the two, it's funny to say that this is a better display because of the bezels, but I have to. It's a better display because of the small bezels. And so the win here also has to go to the Asus. So let's move on down the device to keyboard and trackpad. And this is a spot where HP, I feel like, moves ahead. So 
When we talk about input methods, I'm not the most picky person on keyboards. I know a lot of people that are way snobbier with keyboards than I am. But over you know the years of testing Chromebooks, I've found certain keyboards that I like and certain ones that I just don't. And when it comes to touch typing and looking at the screen while you're typing, the ability to feel travel and to feel click in a keyboard makes a lot of difference. Both of these keyboards are backlit and both of them have decent travel and both of them are plastic keys. So there's, again, a lot of similarity between the two. And while the Asus retains a bit more travel, the HP has a click and just a confidence when you type. Uh, that's second in my mind only to the Pixelbook and it's not a very far second. I really, really, really enjoy typing on the HP. And while it's fine on the Asus, the typing experience for sure has to go to the HP in this regard. Same goes with the trackpad. The one place I have issue with the Asus C434 is in the cheapness of the trackpad. Is it unusable? No, not at all, it works just fine. But it feels a little thin, it's definitely plastic, and oils build up on it a little quicker than I would like for a more premium device. Over on the HP, you've got an all glass trackpad, has this great click mechanism to it, it's nice and large. Again, the keyboard and trackpad, you can look back at our review of the HP and realize it's still one of my favorite set of input methods on any Chromebook. And so without doubt, the input method category has to go to HP. As we move on to the next section, which is internals, the winner is a little bit less clear cut. So let's talk about the things that are the same between the two. USB-C's on each side, USB-A, micro SD card slot, headphone microphone jack, eight gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. Those things, exactly the same. Here are the two differences between the two. The ASUS has an 8th gen Core M3 processor, so a Y series processor. The HP has an 8th gen Core i3 U series processor, which requires a fan. The HP is faster. It's gonna get more things done quicker for you. It's not a ton faster. I'm not gonna say it blows the ASUS out of the water, but it is faster. And it's gonna handle more tasks with a little bit more speed in general, but it's got a fan. The ASUS does not have a fan, so if a fan is important to you or not having a fan is important to you, then maybe the ASUS you would feel like is better internally. The ASUS also has better speakers. Even though there's B&O branding on the HP, the speakers are tinny and just don't sound great. They do fire upward, which is nice, but they don't sound great. The ASUS speakers sound really, really good. They sound full and rich, and I would put them up against most other laptops as far as having a great set of speakers on them. So a lot of similarities here and it's not easy to just say hey this one's better than this one but if we have to talk about internals we have to talk about speed and productivity i have to say that the hp ever so slightly edges out the asus on this one because that core i3 just is faster in general at getting most things done now for the final section user experience I think this one's a little more clear cut i like using both of these devices so if you're watching this video and hoping that i'm going to say this one is easily better than this one that's not exactly what you're gonna get. Sure, we're gonna get a winner here in just a second, but I need to explain to you that using both of these devices on a daily basis during my review period for both of them was very enjoyable. I don't think you're gonna lose with either one, but if I'm forced to pick which one I just enjoy using a little bit more than the other, I'd have to give the edge to the Asus. And honestly, even though I'm really particular about keyboard and trackpad, the one on the Asus, the keyboard, the trackpad combo on the Asus isn't so bad that it put me off from the overall experience of carrying something like that's this nice looking and feeling and then opening it up and it being small and tidy and having those thin bezels, like all of those things together. When we start talking about user experience and what it feels like to use the device in the real world, doing real work with it, I just have to give the win to Asus on this. I just enjoyed using it more than I enjoyed using most Chromebooks. Matter of fact, it almost became like my daily driver. It hasn't edged out the Pixelbook for me yet, but for something to even come close to where I'm thinking about maybe putting it in my bag all the time as my everyday carry item, that's saying something for the overall feel and use case for a device. And that is not to take away anything from the HP. I really enjoy using this thing. I just enjoy using the ASUS more. So if you've been keeping score, it's no secret, the ASUS has won. But it's only won three to two, and in one of those categories, it just barely won. 
So while we said at the onset of the video and with every versus video, we're gonna pick a winner. Asus is the winner here. I really don't think you're gonna lose out if you choose either one of these devices because as we've seen in the months prior to this video being made, the HP has gone on sale a ton. It is nothing crazy to see the HP on sale for $400 or $450. And as you're watching this, there's a chance that within a week or two of seeing this video, this one, the HP, will drop by that amount of money. We've not seen those kind of deep discounts on the Asus up to this point. That's not to say they won't happen. But at the end of the day, when it's time for you to buy a Chromebook and you're ready to go make a purchasing decision, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with either one of these devices. They're both fantastic, they're both excellent in everyday use, and they're both just a pleasure to use as Chromebooks. So I don't think you're gonna be in the wrong either way. Base it on price, and if you're watching this video and right now this one's on sale or this one's on sale, it doesn't really matter. Probably go with that one, save yourself some money, and know that with either one, you're gonna get a really awesome Chromebook experience. Guys, we hope we've helped you make a purchasing decision at some point in this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and don't forget, hit that little bell notification if you'd like to be notified when we make more videos like this one in the future. Until next time, we'll see you.